All right, hey guys, this is Nick again, <laughs> once again, from NX Config, and this time, no, it's not the MacBook review again. We're back to the spec see-through satin right here in better video quality, and it says you're supposed to take it off about once a week or so, um, maybe every two weeks to clean it, to clean out the inside to make sure it hasn't collected any dust or anything. But I haven't honestly taken this thing off in about two months, so let's see how this thing looks on the inside. Now you've seen the process to put it on. This, the the way to take it off is the exact opposite, obviously. You pull back here. Ah. One second, let me turn this off again. Thank you for getting to do this. Uh, you pull back here on these little tabs. Ah. That one, and this one right here. All right, doesn't seem to want to come off here. Okay, there we go. And this side. All right, there we go. It's first time my MacBook's been bare in about, <laughs> like I said, a couple months. Uh, let's check this out here. Wow, wow, <laughs> that was a cheesy wow. Wow, this is pretty surprising. I thought there would be a lot more dust here, but I hope you can see this. Let me check the camera. Yeah, you should be able to see this. There's not really a lot of dust at all. I'll just go ahead and wipe it off, though, because there is a little bit, not much. Um, wow, that's great. Not much dust at all, and let's see how the MacBook is. No, that wasn't a scratch, just a little bit of hair. Don't know whose, but somebody's. All right, just wipe this off. And yeah, there it is. Is that something? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We might have something here. Oh, no, that little spot right there actually might be where I hit a door. Unfortunately, I was walking through, I was walking through a doorway and kind of dinged the side of it. So that's my fault. Um, just me. And I'm really surprised about this. I expected there to be a lot more dust, uh, just a little buildup of debris or something, maybe. I was hoping, obviously, I was hoping there wasn't going to be a scratch, but I assumed there would. Um, I guess that's in part from these little smaller rubber feet right here that kind of protect the MacBook and hug it at the same time while suspending off of it. So, yeah, we don't really have anything on here, guys. Look at that. It's beautiful. Let's go ahead and take off the bottom. Now, of course, you know the bottom is closer to where the fans are. There's probably dust and things circulating there, so we'll see how that held up. Yeah, as you can see, this is a bit dirtier. Um, yeah, the see-through satin is a pretty nice-sized um, fingerprint magnet, like, but only if you have a lot of oil on your on your fingers or if you rub something on it. But from what I found is if you just take a little cleaning spray or something, for example, eye clear, um, and just r spray it on a cloth, rub it on here, it comes right out. And even some small scratches on here come right out. So, let's see. I forgot how you actually take this off. All right. Open this up. Okay, pull down. Pull down here and here. All right, there we go. All right, just pull off those two side flaps. This one, ah, there we go, it was just stuck on something. I don't know what it was stuck on, but there we go. All right, put the MacBook down. As you can see, you can see all the dust and stuff there, but that's the outside. And once again, surprisingly, not much here either. That, no, that's not dust. Those are just little imperfections, not much. 
check the MacBook. Jeez, guys. Not nothing here. These are just a couple fingerprints for me, but there's no dust, no lint, no nothing. It's perfectly nice. There's no it's not distorted or anything because of the heat buildup. The little grills here, while they might not seem like much, they evidently did something to dissipate the heat. Um, wow, I'm extremely impressed with this. I thought it would be a lot worse than this. Um, and since this is a review, let me just go ahead and say, this is great protection. It's got great grip right here. It's nice, it's smooth, but it's got a nice grip feel, so if you really need to hold on to it, you can. You can easily hold on to it with one hand. Um, it's great. It looks, I guess you could say, stylish. It hugs it nicely, but still leaving open all the ports. CD ports, fans, everything. Um, geez, I'm just extremely impressed with this. This is amazing. Um, no? Uh, no, nothing there? Yeah, um, I don't know what else to say about this, but... Hopefully this review was a bit better than the unboxing and setup of this in terms of A, video quality, B, sound quality because the microphone should be better on this. And just the way it went, I'm trying to improve my videos a bit here. So please, rate if you liked it. Um, just give me a quick rating. Whether you liked it or you didn't, it'd just be nice if you could give me a rating. Comment, you know, just toss a comment on there. Hey, I love this or hey, you did great or no, why did you even do this? I don't care. Choose, put your opinion up. It's just great to have people interacting. Um, send me a message on any video requests, tutorials, anything like that. I'll get back to you ASAP. Uh, wow, that was interesting. Uh, ASAP. And check out my channel. Please subscribe if you like this stuff. And thanks, guys. This is Nick again from NX Config signing off. See ya.